Hello, good morning to all the mommies out there who's got three-year-old daughter or son. I just want to share with you some activities that I do to teach three years old children. Okay, so I'm doing home tuition for young children. And um, yeah, these are the activities that I have prepared today. Watch this. Right, I have some letters here that I have prepared. I have C, I have B, and I have A. All right, but because we are using phonics, then I will not be uh, pronouncing them as A, but I will be introducing the sound instead. Okay, um, let me just start you with the doll because the one I'm teaching is a girl, so you can do it with boy um, if the one you're teaching is a boy. So what I did, I, I wrote in here, what do girls wear? So I made a, just a skeleton, it's not even straight, okay? And I made a head where I will let the child identify where's the hair, where's the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, and the mouth. And I will let her mount it, of course, on top of the skeleton. And then after that, I want her to pick a dress. This is also increasing their vocabularies. So, especially those who are not really speaking English. So we can increase their vocabularies by doing this. And then I would tell her, you have to mount the dress on or put the dress on. So he will, she will do like that. And then the head will already be there, of course. And then I will tell her to get the bag, a green bag. And in here, you can also introduce the colors, like get the red dress, get the green bag. But of course, we already had the colors early uh, in the early part of our lessons. And then put the handbag in the hand. All right. And then after, put the shoes on. So, of course, she must know where to put the shoes. Okay, under. All right. There you go. And then, how about the necklace? Right, necklace is blue and pink. There you go. So she's, she's going to uh, paste them. And the bracelet, which is the same as the necklace. All right. And then after that, you have to tell her what are those parts um, of the body and uh, where you have put on those accessories. And of course, um, repeating the same words and so on. Okay. So this is for girls. Now, I made some happy faces. Uh, hap I made a happy face and a sad face as well. So all we, all the th <laughs> what we're going to do here, I'm sorry. What we're going to do here is to mount it again. So I will tell her to color the hair with brown or paint it, okay? but. She must not paint the center, so it could also give her a good control. Right, the next is the faces. So, I made a face with the hair, and she's going to paint the hair with brown. And I will tell her not to paint the center bit, so that it will give her um, a control as well, um, not to... Not, not to include the face for the for the painting and I have emphasized the letter H the first letter of the word so she can remember it ha happy and I use red so that that will connote um, happiness or um, cheerfulness right and then I will let her draw the eyes the nose Okay, and that will increase vocabulary as well. And then the chicks, the chicks are always pink, if not red, All right? And then the happy face. So I will also ask her, will it be like this or like this? 
so she must know how to put that one all right but she will put the eyes and the nose all right and we'll keep repeating ha 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 happy right next one is a sad face there you go it will be the same so she's gonna paint the hair brown but not to paint the center bit and i have emphasized the first letter s which is for the sad word why did I put blue? Because blue is, it connotes sadness, right? And again, repeating, um, repeating the, the steps like putting the eyes on. So she will increase uh, that vocabulary on the parts of the head. Eyes, nose, and then cheeks, right? The cheeks and the sad face or the the lips so it will be like that all right and also i will let her um put ribbon so another word for her would be ribbon ribbon for the hair right so even the the happy face you also have to put ribbon on okay i don't know where are my ribbons Sorry for that, but there are some ribbons here. Right, so she will be asked to put ribbon as well, okay? Right, apart from the cheeks, the mouth, happy mouth, and eyes and nose, then you can also introduce another word, ribbon, and you can tell her to put the ribbon on the hair, all right? There you go. So it will be pretty. Okay. Right. For for the girls wear, you can also put ribbon. So that's another vocabulary. Ribbon on the dress. Okay. So that's additional accessory. For phonics or the alphabets, then I have emphasized on this sheet the letter A. A. A for apple and we know that the apples color is red I already have a cut leaf and a little stem in there so you have to say these words as well and then I cut I will let her I will let her stick the like a guide for the apple Okay, so she will stick that and she will color inside red to finish the illustration for apple. And then you keep repeating while she will be coloring the inside bit. Ah, ah, apple. Ah, ah, apple. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, apple. All right. For the ball, for letter B, it will be a ball okay again i emphasize ba ba ball and i have cut strips in here circular strips where she will be mounting them and assemble them okay of course you have to guide them if not you have to illustrate it first and then after that let her do it on her own Okay, so they're assembling the different colors as well. Red, where's the red? Put the red first, put the blue next. The, um, the yellow next would be the green. Next would be pink inside. So how many words have you already introduced? Okay, and another pink inside. There you go. And this is a ball. And she can color inside as well if she will you tell her that if this is red that should be red if this is yellow that should be yellow pink pink green green blue blue in that way you have introduced some um some colors and also sound and all of that okay the third one is k again i emphasize k okay k for k and I have cut some 
like cloud-like shapes, right? These are cloud-like shapes, clouds. Then tell her to mount the yellow first. That's the first one. And then you will say second would be, or on top would be blue. The third, see, you are introducing first, second, third, the ordinal, ordinal words. And then the third would be red. The fourth would be the green. And finally, all right, the pink with candles. There you go. Is this a nice key? And then she would say, yeah, it is. All right. So for a three-year-old girl, you can just concentrate on a, b, k, d, okay, the sounds, and then the vowels, all right? But of course, by passing, you can do the other alphabets by singing them, or this, the other letters, I should say. So this is good for one hour, one hour class, and then after that, you can play, you can uh, sing, sing alphabets or other songs nursery rhymes as well all right thank you for watching and i hope i had um help you out with this and watch my next video again if all right thank you for watching my video today and i'm going to share other activities that i do um when i will prepare them okay that will be for tomorrow okay i'm gonna a video them thanks for watching please like share and subscribe um i'm going to share other videos next time thanks a lot bye for now